Welcome back to another episode of my channel. So we've got two free pans in front of us, all brand new Balti Balls. These are the original. These must have been in somebody's attic at one time because I picked them up at a second hand shop for two quid each today. Much better than that Birmingham Balti ball that I bought not long ago that I featured on a video. Um, just really, really great. So I've just washed them. All brand new, two pound each. So it always helps to shop around. So what we're going to do is just, they've been washed, we're just going to let the water evaporate and they're going to darken. We'll come back shortly. Right, what we're going to do, nicely darkening. So we're going to put some ghee in each hot pan. This is vegetable ghee. So we've got some rainbow charring on each pan, that's fine. So about three tablespoons of ghee in each one. So the oil's got to the point where it's smoking. And what I have here is, um, you can pause the video, but these are onions I really insist on if you want an authentic Indian taste. Enough said. So I've got about a kilo of those onions. And we want to equally distri distribute them into these pans. And we turned everything down to a minimum now. So, um, yeah, we had a little bit of smoking earlier. And we just need to sweat off those onions and soften. And they're very, very finely chopped because I want a really great sauce. So, a little bit more of an introduction. Everything's really fresh. We've got fresh tomatoes, fresh onion, fresh ginger, fresh garlic. We're going to be making um, a prawn a vindaloo balti, a chicken vindaloo balti, and a chana masala balti. So I'm not going to introduce all the um, ingredients separately because there's quite a lot of them, but I will give some information as we're doing it. So this is going to take some time. I'm in no rush for these onions to sweat down whatsoever. We'll come back when they're nicely sweated off. And what I'm going to do now, I've got some cold pressed rapeseed oil. This is a Saturday night, very good sense of occasion here. Doing three curries at once. Quite a lot of prep went into it, so I don't mind a little bit of extra oil. I'm going to give that a nice stir. So all those onions are caramelized and just the way I want them to be. Give them a good stir, make sure with a bolty bowl nothing burns around the edges. So, tablespoon of ginger and garlic in each one. And another. So we just want to sizzle the raw flavours from that ginger and garlic. In all three of the pans. So garlic and ginger mixed in, everything's golden. So what I've done, stay true to the um, fresh path. I've blended six nice tomatoes up. I'm just going to divide that up into three. It looks quite a lot, but there's a lot of water content in onions. Uh, sorry, tomatoes. So I'm just going to. So what will happen? The onions will stop frying now, and the ginger and garlic. I just want to make sure you give it a really good stir. And just cook the raw flavours out of those uh, tomatoes and bring it all together. We'll come back. That's all bubbling up nicely. So what we're going to do now, I made a vindaloo masala mix that I recently published on my channel. So it really helps this recipe along in terms of not having to use whole spices because we got some really, really fresh stuff here. And we want the chick I want the chickpea curry really mild. So we're gonna add about half of what I did on the video to one and half to the other. A little bit more than half, but that's fine. So 50-50. What I'm gonna do, the chickpea curry is for a juvenile. So I'm gonna add about two teaspoons heat of my personal Madras powder to that, 
and the smell just like wow it smells good so I'm going to stir all that in about two minutes we'll come back when, once these uh, powders are stirred in right so what we've got here see the oil the ginger the garlic the onions the ghee the rapeseed oil and the spices we've got really some Birmingham flavors I must say one thing about Birmingham I reckon it has the best food in the UK really I really believe that so what we're gonna do we're gonna put some fresh ginger and garlic chopped a little bit of each into it yeah just a pinch a good generous pinch actually into those dishes so we're going to get like two different types of taste and every mouthful is different when you add whole stuff in what we're also going to add just a half a teaspoon of salt don't overdo it especially when you're using sea salt it's so easy to overdo and let's put some water in We don't want anything to burn. I'm, I'm really into the slow cooking thing with this. So there we go. Just a good generous splash of water to bring it all together, you know. We've got some really, really nice pungent flavours here. Just going to give that a really good stir. And we're going to come it uh, back to the boil. We'll come back. So what we're going to do here, homemade kasuri mati, fenugreek leaf, and a good pinch of that, and all the curries, half a teaspoon actually, so don't be shy with it, but not too much, I want it to dominate. So I've got my eye on the one that didn't have the uh, vindaloo powder pre-made. Going to stir that in, it's going to give it a great taste. So, see the one on the left here? That's having uh, two tablespoons of yogurt in there because that's the um, chickpea or the chana one, and I want it mild. So, it really changes the colour, doesn't it? If you want to avoid curdling, I hear a lot of talk about oh, mine curdles. Don't use the low-fat one, use the full-fat one. And also, if you really want, um, add some water to it and mix it up. So, here we go, look at that. Wow, the flavours are just amazing. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some chicken into this one. That's about 200 grams chicken breast cut up into bite sized pieces so no pre-cooked like I said this is fresh 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 I want to cook it in the sauce nice slow cooked we're not in a restaurant although it's quite restaurant style just want that to sizzle away with the chickpeas so why are my chickpeas all orangey yellow because I skinned them you can find a, a video on my channel called how to shell and pre-cut chickpeas so simple it's quite a lot of chickpeas that's great it's going to be a side dish for the other two as well so you can find that on my channel all that to come together come to the boil so the prawns we've got I don't know 230 gram or something if you want to be really uh, specific of prawns that have been marinating in turmeric and lemon juice with a pinch of salt because the chicken is going to take longer than the prawns to cook 